Hey there and welcome to one more episode. So today I will help you give your automations or whatever application you might be working on on whatever platform eyes and the power of the internet. And with this, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see on the screen the perplexity user interface. And this is an AI search engine. Once you insert the keywords on perplexity, there are AI models behind it. And what those will do, they will search the internet for you, get the summary, the gist of what you're asking for, and try to give it to you in a concise piece of information. So I'm going to do the search here for the same term we're going to do in our automation, just to have some kind of reference of how this works. And then we'll move to the API documentation. So this is what I'm asking it to search for. Give me insights on NVIDIA and Apple stocks and most recent metrics and indicators on them and recommendations for investment. So I'm going to activate the pro for the search and then I'm going to hit go. And you can see here it's retrieving sources, it's looking online, getting links, searching for different uh, variations of these terms and putting together all these sources. You can see here it's reading the sources and now it's answering. It's a very comprehensive answer and with charts. So here you can get very specific numbers, very specific indicators and the conclusion and the references all in one search. And this is what AI brings to search engines. This is what most of us are looking for. I don't want to see the links. I don't want to keep searching between links. I just want to get the result. Now, this is the kind of thing I also want to have and gain into my automation. Now, remember, yes, uh, ChatGPT has the ability to browse, but it's very limited. It's nothing compared to perplexity. It's their thing. So this is their niche. So if we marry both, we get the inputs, the AI search from perplexity, feed it to ChatGPT, we might get something amazing. Okay, so with this, let's go to the API. Now to go there, close to your account here on the bottom, you click the settings uh, button here and you will go to your account. Now you'll see lots of information that you can check out, but what we care about is the API. So once you go to the API, you will see the credit. So this is a paid service and it's super cheap. So I've been using this for a while and I loaded the account with only $5. And so far I have used a dollar something out of those $5. So $5 of credit for your API goes a long way. Obviously, choosing certain models of AI will be either higher or lower in cost, and we'll get into that right now. Before we go to the documentation, just notice this area here of API keys. So if you wanna run it uh, through the API calls, you would need an API key which will authenticate your account and will authenticate basically that you have credit to actually run that request. So if we go to the documentations here, so you can see it on the top, learn more docs, we click at it, and this will take us to the documentation. Now you have multiple things here you can look at, but what we want to look into is the API references. Okay, so basically it's a single endpoint. It's called chat completions. Now, if you look at the shell version of the code, again, you don't need to be a coder. I'll show you step-by-step step how to implement it. This gives you everything you need to create that HTTP call. You have to read uh, these areas here where you understand what are the inputs that are required, what are the options, for example, for the models, and at the end, there's either one of two responses. Either it's a successful response with a response of 200, or it's a basically validation error and it's a 422 error. And here, what you can do is copy your API key, paste it here in this area, and then run the request straight from perplexity just to try to test it out that it is working. Okay, so we want to start by building our Zap. So we'll click create, and that will take us here. Going back to our example, my trigger will be a daily trigger. So a scheduled trigger that will run every day at specific time. And once that trigger happens, I want to go to perplexity API, perform a search, take those results, maybe take it to chat GPT. If you want to do something extra, we'll do it today. And then I can do whatever I want with it, like send an email to myself or to others, or put it in a document and save that document in my Google Drive, so many things. Today, I will just through the testing environment, I'll just show you the results without actually completing it. If you want more in depth kind of actual system that does something um, at the end, I can do that for you. Just write me a comment in the comment section. 
For now, let's start building the automation. Okay, so we hit the trigger and we go for the schedule. And here we have to select the event. So I will select the event of every day. Hit continue. And then we choose a time. I want it to happen first thing in the morning. So let's put it 7 a.m. So once I wake up, I can read uh, the email. Let's say it's an email I'm going to send myself. Hit continue. And then we can test the trigger. Good. So this is something that will run every day and at 7 a.m. Continue. Now the action here is webhook action because we want to run a custom API request. So let's click at it. Okay, so we have webhooks by Zapier here. Again, we have to select the event. So you can see, you can put a post, get, and put event. I usually like the custom request for these things. Hit continue. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is select the call or the API call method. If we go back to the documentation, we look here and we find it's a post. So this is a post method. So let's go back to our Zapier and select post. Second thing we need to do is URL. We go here and looking at this, the URL is put here. And here it's asking purely for URL. So we just paste it here. That's good. Now the data. The data is what we have here between the brackets. So you have to copy the whole thing because this is performed or done in a JSON-like format. So we need to copy it as it is and then we go back to Zapier and paste it into the data body. So we have pasted the body that we took from the documentation into the data. Now let's examine it for a second. So we have the model and we selected the model. Now in the documentation, if we go back, there's all sorts of models. And there is a link here where you can examine the models. Actually, it's here when we go to per perplexity. We can see the supported models. We can look at them, understand the cost, understand what they do. Some of them are online, some of them are not. So it's good to um, check that out. Then, uh, and these are the minimum inputs you need to provide in the data. Then we have two roles, and this is very similar to ChatGPT API. One of them is the system, in ChatGPT it's the assistant, and the other one is the user. So basically, what are your instructions to perplexity? And the second one, what is your request? These are structures that will help you get the right prompting with perplexity. So you can tell the system what you expect as a result and then ask for something specific. So let's continue. If we go back to the um, documentation, we find that there's headers here. So there's two headers. So let's go to Zapier and put these in in the header section. So we'll start with the application JSON. So if we go down here, you'll find the header. We'll say, and then we'll just paste application JSON. We have to add one more header here. We go back here. It's the content type. So let me just take the whole thing back to Zapier. Cut this, paste it here. We don't need the space. So you need to keep it like this content type as the header itself. And the value of the header is application JSON. Okay, let's go back to the documentations one more time. So if we look at the documentation, we've pretty much put everything in our call, but there's only one thing missing. So here for the testing, they have the authorization and it's a bearer type of API key or token. So this is a third header. Um, I'm just showing you now. So you take this, the authentication part, you go to Zapier, you add one more header, which is the authorization, not authentication, authorization. You go back to the documentation. So you need to put bearer space and then your API key. Now, remember when we came to this area, we've seen the API keys and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, click generate, get an API key and use it. Now I have already some of them. I'm gonna use this for the video demo testing. So I can just copy one of them. So I copied one. I will cover it so you'll not see it. Um, but, you know, we go here and we'll put bearer space and then paste the authentication uh, API key. Okay, so with this, we are ready to go and test this. But before we start the test, let's actually put something in the content here uh, in the payload of the data. So what I've done here is I just added 
get me the most recent non-sponsored content. I don't want it to get me content from sponsored trading sites. I want it just to get me something maybe from blog or from an analytics that is available online. And then I just copied and pasted the same thing we put in the user interface. Give me insights on NVIDIA and Apple stocks and most recent metrics and indicators on them and recommendations for investment. So we hit continue here and then we test the step. Okay, so testing was successful. If we go down here, you can see we have a very detailed response from perplexity. It has metrics, prices, um, market cap, and an analysis on both NVIDIA and Apple. And then I think it has even a conclusion for us. So just for the sake, as I promised you of this uh, example, I'm gonna add a step here. It's gonna be a chat GPT. So let's select chat GPT here. And um, I'm gonna have a normal conversation, hit continue. Okay, so I've chosen an account and then I moved to the action. And here basically is where I select a model I'm going to go for the 4.0, the new, most powerful and cheapest model. And then I'm going to put a message that will further analyze the inputs I got from perplexity. So the message I wrote is, please analyze the below and give me recommendations for investing in stocks, what to watch out for and what to leverage. Now, again, you can make this more complex. And what I'm referring to below is basically the outcome from the perplexity uh, step which is this choices message content. This is the response basically from perplexity. So I click at it and I selected the model. You can do more, obviously. You can even play with the temperature and the top P. Don't do both, one of them. Hit continue and hit test and it worked. So I got a response from ChatGPT. Let's scroll down to see the response. And yeah, this is the reply of the assistant. I will not read the whole thing, just a couple of lines just to show you how good it can get. Investing in stocks like Apple and Nvidia can offer substantial growth and opportunity, but it is crucial to analyze and understand the various aspects before making a decision. Here are some recommendations and points to watch out for. So for Apple, so it's telling us the market cap, current price, fair value. So that's an interesting one. And then price per earning and then a price per sales, dividend yield, and then total yield. So some of the probably metrics that any investor would look at at a minimum, um, it's looking at, it's giving you recommendations like valuation and dividends, things just to, th to consider. So it, it gave us some kind of analysis and that's really interesting. So this brings us to the end of this video. Do not forget to click the like button, share, subscribe, and write a comment in the comment section if there's anything you want me to do uh, an in-depth video about that I just went through, or you have some other idea when it comes to systems and automations and AI, even machine learning that you want me to dig deeper into, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. And with this, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching the video so far and goodbye.